Hi guys, welcome back. I'm just texting. Boy, sleep up. Cool. I'm gonna draw two people, yeah? This guy's blind. Oh, you're on. <laughs> I'm streaming. Yeah. Uh, I'll see what you want to say. I'm on right there. Uh, is a bank mission in San Denis? Is it like a SK in it? San Denis. Well, I'm going to no. do this mission, Mayor. Mary Beth. Mary's mission is trash. I know, might as well though. Yeah. Once uh, you get this mission, what I'm on, it's right annoying. I really this... want. I wish yeah. that Scottish guy's still in. Sure. It's this guy called Rainfalls. Yeah. So, he's right annoying. His mission's right boring. You have to deliver stuff. And that's it. I don't know what you do. Because I always skip cutscenes. Do you know yeah. so I can get? When I'm in a rush, I always cut. Morning. When I'm not in a rush, I don't skip. I only stream. Uh, like, watch Travis stream if he's doing one. Subscribe to him Hello, and me. Drop a like. How are you, Arthur? And yeah. How are you? I cut I my beard and hair all the way, the shortest it can, so now I'm going to see how long it takes to get me to all the brushes. And then ride around, round, round throughout, oh my god, I want to say that again, ride around the map like ten times, and your beard would go right big. At place this morning to see if uh, you, you could go on girl. to prison. I couldn't. Yep. I went to swim there, but I uh, couldn't. So uh, then, uh, I just. Can't you find the boat? No. What happened? All right then. Go to your camp. Yeah. Wait. So. Wait. I'm doing a mission. Tell me after I've done a mission. Alright, I'll tell you when I'm done. I hate those people who share cigarettes. You know boyfriend and girlfriend? When you some oh, yeah. say them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you using the Black Arabian right now? Yeah. Have you customised it yet? No. I changed it, have a white main so then when it's dark I can see it. I just crashed in a tree. You do care, Miss I, I did that, just said no. <laughs> oh no, I'm my I'm joking. I'm on my Varian. Oh my god, it fell. I hate it. I accidentally keep hold of one button. Now I just crashed in it. I'm I've crashed in it. I'm I'm glitched. Oh my god. Do you know how you drive on GTA with yeah. R2 and yeah. L1? When I first got Red Dead Redemption, I, I tried driving with them, yeah. but then I kept on getting up warning because I kept on shooting. I accidentally get wanted when I accidentally shoot. When I accidentally press R2, I hate it when you're doing something. And you're in front of someone, and then they start punching you. It's their Ew. fault. What a stranger! Oh yeah. It's their fault, isn't it? 
I'm gonna... Oh, I hate you so. so I'm dead now. Use your white Arabian. See if that one's any better. Stop letting me get my gun out! So wait. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could. Oh wow! And now it comes. What happens if I cut free this sauce? What? I'm doing a mission. I've got a wagon. Yeah. What? Shall I cut free one at horses? Up to you. See what happens. I'm coming through both the horses. <laughs> ah, mission. Remember when on online when there were only one horse pulling wagon? What do you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, I've glitched it. I cut through both horses. And then there's another that there. Such as yourself could be mighty kind. Wait, don't speak to me. There's a fucking guy. He's acting hard. I'm gonna shoot him and take his horse. I stole someone's, um, deer. Deer? Oh, yeah, I sometimes yeah. do that. And it's perfect. Uh, huh. uh. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Was, uh... yeah, it don't matter what you thought, it's okay. <laughs> now catch that uh, the one in front of the bomb. Mama, I've got a, I think I've got a new horse. Right, uh, you know when you do that mission with Mary? One at Mary's? And then you yeah. got to bring back Miss Tilly. Oh, and well, you've got a different horse. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm riding that spot, y'all. You know that horse? Yeah. It's pretty it's spot. spot. <laughs> Do you get to keep it? If you put a saddle on it. How do you... Oh, I can't what did you have for tea? After school club. Mm, chicken like sandwich. That. Chicken sandwich. Yeah, oh no, I have that. I had fish fingers. There's literally only chicken, ham, and cheese. They used to be jam, but now they're, they're not allowed to do it. I well, think it's because it's sticky or something. Yeah, probably because you ain't tight. You used to have chips, fish fingers. Oh, yeah. Do you know Micah, yeah. Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. He starts thinking it's boss. It's like stuck. he owns everything. What did you say? It's Dutch in charge, and if Dutch slack like killed, would it be a uh, Jose? Jose is dead. Not a man. 
Yeah. Yeah, folks, see you on. I know. Submission, before. I said, if. No, he I'm said, he said, Hosea is still alive. No, no he didn't. I said, oh, yeah, he did. Uh, it sounded du like that. I said, Dutch is in charge, and if Dutch is at ill or something, or, some, or injured, it probably will be Hosea. He's dead. Yeah, but they if, won't be bots. If you, if you survive, though. Yeah, if you survived. I hate it when they say cocksucker. Mm. Do you? You stop calling me that now. Uh, <laughs> Coleman. Cockrally sucker. <laughs> Riley's rate horrible. He don't think about other people. Doesn't he? Does he? No. He just thinks about himself, selfish. I used to stare at you because I was like wondering. At, at first I was wondering what that like, you are, and then I started. Oh my uh, god, I didn't even have it back then. No staring at you when you started saying yeah. stop staring at me. Yeah, I didn't have my pod then, did I? In year three or two, was it? I didn't even have it then. When did you get a pod? Five. Year five. No, that's a lie. The very end of year four. Very, very end. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Shall I slit uh, his Get throat or off. take out you know my uh, or leave him? Leave him. I don't know. I'm leaving. Let's get you no, no, beat him. See if he says he has a kid and then leave him. He said uh, that there were only a choice. Oh, I've got the horse. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, I, always, I always get female horses for some reason. Is your block what, creepy? You him? Uh, no. Oh. Give him a chance. Next time I'll switch bro. Can I tell you something? I might have told you, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Hitler in First World War, he was injured. Yeah, yeah, out of, um, oh, yeah. He told me. He told me five times yesterday. One in morning, one in middle evening, one in evening, evening and one today. And that's four. Four times then. I remember the one fought in bike. find your clothing, you just a little bit of crazy. Yeah. Wait, sing that song when I popped off and that, whatever. When I popped off, feeling just a bit of cooking. 
cocaine Corbin. <laughs> it works better if it's condom Corbin. And then cocaine Kerwin. Oh yeah. Don't it? Cocaine Oh, I went to the same room as him while I get my insulin bag. And his mum said something. You just can't get rid of each other, can you? Like, excuse me? He says I'm a bully when he's the one who's punched me in the face for no reason. Isn't I? Where's my hmm. other horse? My black Arabian. Let's hit you up. You know what I hate about the Arabian? Like, I'm a bit, Arthur's a bit too muscly for it, and it's just a small horse. Wait. I'm saddling it up to make sure it's my horse. Now it's my horse. Now put it back on Arabian. Alright, tell me how to do it then. The thing what I asked you earlier when before I were when I went mission. Are you watching my stream? No. What did, no? Why are you asking me this? I'm fucking doing missions. How to get? How do you get the boat? Oh, alright. Go to your camp. Where your bed is. Yeah, no. I look for like a box where a double sign on. Oh yeah. And then go onto contraband. C O N. Wait. Oh. I can't see, it's under the chimney. Under the chi chim chimney? What? It's literally, um, is it a box on minimap with a dollar sign? Yeah. It's literally in the chimney. At the house. It's upstairs. Oh yeah. Got confused there. I hate that when it happens, it's like, what? <sighs> I'm trumping. Comment down below who you are if you're still watching. Sometimes it glitches, it says they're not watching when they are watching. So what do you do? Give a B or leg a what? It's a wait. This is my give a debit or like give a like give debit. And then what? Uh, no. Uh, give give money. Go and yeah. give money. Put in three hundred dollars. Why three hundred? That's how much a boat costs. You know that little boy Jack, does he survive? Yeah. Yeah? Now, give him money. Yeah. Now what? I'll be giving money. Yeah. Control. What? Press 100. circle and then go on ladder. There's ledger. no circle. There's contribute what's triangle and like a... Legend, uh, what is square? Press square. Yeah. And then 
If you see a bot. Is it a rowing boat? A bot, yeah. What? Buy that. Three hundred dollars. Wait. Three hundred and six days. Wait. I think you have purchased the boat. Thou purchased it. Yeah. Now you get a boat. Now I can. Can you drive it? Yeah. Yes. That's why I told you to buy it. Imagine you could get, it, but you couldn't drive it. I bet you that'll I mean, be in Red Dead it. One, though. You can't, can't even ride a boat on Red Dead One, you know. That's a good one. I played Red Dead before. What? Red Dead Arthur in Red Dead One. No. no. Red, Red Dead Redemption, Redemption One is after Red Dead Redemption, Redemption Two. So, wait, you've got me confused. So, after the story of Red Dead Redemption Two, is it Red Dead One? Yeah. Red Dead One's older, by the way. No, no, no. All right, I'm gonna have to end the I was popping the wall, I'm whooping it, I was popping the head. Someone's singing that to me earlier. Yeah. Now, let's go to the place. Did you go there? Uh, yeah. Is there a lot of guards? Yeah. Alright. I just need to get some guns then. Can you break people out? I don't know. I got yeah. killed straight away. Straight away? As soon as I stepped foot. So were that many guards. Idiot. Is it like a lot? Yeah. I'm gonna get a pump and a rifle. Now, Alex had a number two during school. That's what I hate. They don't give you long for having a number two, do they? No. You've literally got about a couple of minutes and then like about up to 10 minutes longest if you're a bit longer but if it's like I oh it when toilet seats wet oh yeah I'm, I'm gonna have a number two once yeah yeah uh, but oh toilet seat were wet so I didn't go I. people don't lift up the seat it's good. The boat's drifting away. How much money do you get robbing the bank? Send an easy one. You don't. Oh. Because you run away. Yeah. It, you jump on a boat, yeah. the boat sinks down the bottom of the ocean. And then money goes. I bet you're in a different country. Are you in a different country? I am, yeah. What Lama. country? Milan. Cuba, Cuba. Cuba. It's called Cuba. So if you want anything from America, you've got to get it now. What do you mean? So if you want to get anything in America, do you, 
have to get it now. Well, you can go back to America. Oh. Need a bit of fishing. Get some money. Are the best prisons like on an island? Yeah. In the world. Yeah. Is it so it's harder to escape? Have you ever heard of um what do you call it? Albatross. Yeah. Is that That's a real a one? one? Yeah. But they turned it into a museum. They shouldn't have it. I know. Whoa! This fish is sick. Sing a rap. Yo, Freddy has a mole on his forehead. Oh wait, his little mole head. <gasps> Thought it was a mole head. Or little mole head. Mole, yeah, that's what I just said. You said little mole head. Little Sorry, mole Sorry, Freddy. It's... Yeah, that's what you just said. You said... Oh, never mind. Freddy, if you watch this, uh, you, we stand get... God, that's a flipping sick fish, bro. Buy river worlds and stuff like that. You get. You know why? Sick... Well, if you watch this too, why do you like looking at naked people? That's my fun. The fun you. I lose the camera. Hey, I like looking at. I bet you they looked at. A vagina. Do you? Mm. Look at this cafe. <laughs> I know you touch your mum's bum. <laughs> Freddy says he's no. up. Oh, yeah, you said. No, Freddy. I don't. Freddy. <laughs> no, you said when you were a little kid. And Freddy said he sat on a dildo. <laughs> Why would you even... No, he's lying. I bet you he did, just to see what it felt like. No, he didn't. He just wants attention. Yeah, but I'll get very embarrassed, wouldn't I? Yeah, so he's what? doing attention. Why would he do it? Can you get a better boat, too? No. I'm on my way. We're going to prison. Stream. Are you streaming right now? You are. No. Okay. There's ducks. Uh, you know oh, Harry, man. your reception today. He yeah. said he misses you. Mm. What happens if you die? Would you have to buy a new boat? And the boat's not no. in the harbour? Or does it automatically respawn there? It respawns. And what happens if you crash in another boat? Let's see. Find out. Nice. 
I wish you could drive the proper big ships. Me and Corbin got into a ship. We actually drove it. Did you? Um, yeah, you know, on the big online. How? Can you drive them on online? Yeah, we drive a speedboat thing. I'm still. Am I close? I'm about oh, from no. halfway now. I remember when you walked in toilet. Oh, that's so funny. I yeah. think I walk in toilet now every day because I need toilet. Don't you think? At, when you said that, Corbin. Oh, oh let's see. <laughs> don't know, man. I hated that. <laughs> we were scared. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what did she think she would have said to you? I don't know, I saw sprinting downstairs and trying to go well in there. Did you need the oh, number wow. two then? We proper busted. I need a toilet. Wait, can you put your horse on the boat? Don't stop. Corbin though, that what I hate about Corbin, in P whenever he gets hit, he starts like falling on the ground and trying to get no attention no. or something. No. Because everyone aimed at him. It's a tactic though, to be fair. But it weren't really fair for his first game. I didn't even have a game. I had half a one. You had two games, you. No, I didn't. No way. You joined. Did you try not. To... Did you not get me out because you want a yellows to win? Oh yeah. yeah. Lewis K should have Why did Lewis K though proper tried helping greens when it's a tournament? And then Riley started moaning at me for knocking one ball back and saying I was cheating. Now how close am I? Pretty close. Check out Travis's channel. Check out his old ones. Right for me. Do you tick? No. Keep on doing your tick. No. Is that your tick? No. My tick used to be swearing all the time and saying shut up. Oh, shut up. Swear word. Before swears started kicking in. Kicking in. Who? You know what I hate though. Pretty much in basketball, every time we do like PA or something, he get someone hurts him or he starts being pathetic. Mm. Start your own new word, pathetic. Yeah. Thought so. In basketball. We what? In basketball last time, it won't yeah. ground. 
just get up to carry on with games. Because if we didn't do that, it could have, we could have had another game. And if I like, call them. yeah, like a. And if Riley didn't start being horrible and stupid, is the prison really big? Because I'm really close. Look, well, yeah. I keep thinking you're going to the toilet. I'm, I'm going to, I'm on toilet, that way. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm not going to Right. I'm wiping my bum now. Shh. Shh. How is that one? <laughs> I like that, I bet you. Let's invite him. The prison is on there. You can play with PlayStation. Fair have got. A PlayStation 3 person who I don't know. So much. Word. Whatever. Wait, I want to see what happens if I drink my. I don't. Fame. That mountain that door looks real. Now, oh, progress.
If you could laugh. Oh, I died. I killed some at least. Please, I can't go back to camp. Please, I'm in camp. Feel fine. White Arabian. The Arabian, if you think the White Arabian and Black Arabian are the best horses in the game, they're not. I don't, I don't think they're not because the Mystery Fox Trap, it's got full speed but 7 acceleration. But acceleration isn't really a big thing. But if you look, I think the Black Arabian and White Arabian. Is the same. Fuck. One miss. Let's go, girl.
ain't nothing by it. <clears throat> Mister? If you want to get some. Gentlemen? I know. Good evening, Mister. Good evening, Mister. Good evening, Mister. Good evening, Mister. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Well, that's nice. Good evening. Hello, Mister. Good evening, lady. Well, nice to see you, lady. Good evening. Good evening. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Good to hear hey, it. Hey, mister. Good day. Hey there. How do you do, sir? Hello, sir. My apologies. Howdy, fellas. Howdy. Hello, sir. Everything okay? Hey there. Mister. Ladies. Hi there, mister. Bonjour, monsieur. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Uh, hey there, partner. Hey, partner. How do you do? Howdy, friend. Hello there. Bonjour, monsieur. Hey. Hello, gentlemen. How do you do? Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hey, mister. Hi. Hey there. Alright. Hold on a sec, I'll be a minute or two. Alright, I'm back. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened <laughs> up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes. 
My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat. A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's take you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, I'm We're up in the don't place. Seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Likely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. is not ours to waste right now. It's just some grooming, Arthur. Be grateful I'm not making you bathe as well. Well, don't keep the poor man waiting. Make him look like a prince, sir. some transportation for us. and hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? 
He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing? She is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, even invented me here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Fly. Evening. Not to worry. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. That you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard. Well. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his well, own good fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. 
Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. <sighs> sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but <laughs> fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Uh, uh, pause on my... Hey. <sighs> Give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. <laughs> take his gun. Go on. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls, can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look. There's your friend. No, sir. My friend is not a noble chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs>
my show. Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Hell, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, oh. What? What? NAS stable show post cast. Go. straight down please you came on come along then where are we going what's the old lovable patriarch been up to now oh Arthur so what do you think he's up to I'm not sure he keeps saying it's a disgrace. It's a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. Fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue.
to irritate me. I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my old wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Hey, stop us. Again, you're too close. He went around the corner. Just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. We just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Damn. Tricky sauce. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. No, nope. this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. Have cleaned your wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. Oh my god. <sighs> Not that way. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You probably killed someone. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. One off. Stop! 
come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. I uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Yee Do not doubt. All right. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of hey, the stir on, I would create oh. in this locality okay. as a proprietor sure. if you want. of the greatest Reckon we've show seen the best ever of it. assembled. All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone 
close to me. Well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Oh my gosh. And join to walk in the way. Mind yourself. I've never done anything to you. Jesus. Move. Oh, God. Jeez. to be downwind of him. Put him in the dark! 
Oh my, that's them being eligible to me actually. See So off we go. Happy to, you know. Oh, you kind, mister. <laughs> if you be so kind to take me to La Gras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in La Gras, no. You know, horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bucked, got his foot stuck in the mud, Gator came and ripped his leg off. The 
horse just wobbling in the water. Another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time and still come back with a rifle on him. Honest, no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Le Grat? Well, that's how life is. You travel a lot. You a fool. You can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent a week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you. Said it was a long time. No offense. But I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. What shall I sell? We're gonna do that mission. Not bit bank, but the robot. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Good luck with the wildlife, miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no. Hi. How you doing? Buddy? Heck, I ain't even worth it. Oh, yeah, real clever. Get out of here, fool. Oh, wait. Oh, it's midnight. Yep. It's me, Arthur. Welcome back. Oh, you misery gut. All of you. What's wrong with you? You're up. I did. Look who it is. How you doing, Mr. Settler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, 
It seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we can take over the whole world. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, to the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. I killed him. That was my fault.
windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate me. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our... Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. Oh my. 
force out of here. Relax. Another morning. Yep. Um... Do Dutch Dutch missions at the other back. Maybe they're a pretty scattered bunch, and we didn't leave no. There you are. Come on. Keep one sec.
on the back. Well, you're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South. You guys annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. This your end. in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think this seems like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are you gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley! The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. Robin, we robbed the bank. Oh my god.
more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, no. and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? Get the black Arabian.
come on. So, oh my god. This way. Come on. Oh, careful, Javier. Have you got a problem with me? I'm not wasting any more time on you. I'm just trying to get that mission, bank mission. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches, but deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are... I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. 
And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but what? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. <sighs> This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Triscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? He lied. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. So, I'm gonna try and do a bank you see mission. Why swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? Very much. I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him.
Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right, I suppose just can wait. Let's go. Hold up. That gate is going to come behind and attack us. I bet you. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Probably tomorrow. We really should have run into by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Martha, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Hello? Jules? Hello? Someone there? Hello? In the tree! That must be him. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's, it's up there. What? Big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. The scale. It's over here. It's stuck. I don't know. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry. Well, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. 
baby. Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here. If the gun's loaded, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. I see it. Oh my god. He's going, shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Put pressure on it. I stopped the blade. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Okay, kid. 
Well, I guess that's the end of the stream. Hope you enjoyed. The Pablo P. Bank Mission in 2 or 1 or 2 or 3 days. Again. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna so subscribe, drop a like, remember to like and hope you enjoy goodbye subscribe to happy hamburger games me